So that property, right, I was actually planning on buying it. So Brandon, I was planning on buying this property, renovating it, and then selling it. Yeah. But the issue with this property is, right, it's a nice project. The actual flat itself, yeah, the actual flat itself is a nice project. Yeah? It's, it's fucked inside. It's very trash. Yeah. You want to want, yeah, trash inside, right? as you can see from the pictures. Yeah. But it's a nice project to do up. The problem with the, the outer surroundings of the building, right, is you go into, you go through the entry door, the, the main flat entry door, yeah, and the hallway is fucked, man. It's terrible. It's like really derelict and it, it's, the lights are really dim and it's just, it's not a nice environment to have to walk through, innit? Yeah, it's, it's not. And as soon as I walked in the place, like I want to know it's like a bloodhound anyway, but yeah, and anyone without a strong sense of smell would know anyway, yeah? If they know what they're looking for. I walked through the flat entrance, yeah? into the hallway or whatever it's a low rise flat complex i don't know maybe five maybe six maybe ten floors yeah bust through the door it's one of those flats that people hang around in didn't see anyone but i know people are hanging around doing the stuff that they're not supposed to as soon as i walked in i went inside the actual flat itself the apartment itself and i'm standing in there with the um estate agent one local young boy and I said to him, there's people in this block, yeah? They smell crack. Because I, I, I know what crack smells like, innit, yeah? Ain't gonna say why, yeah, but man, no, innit, yeah? Definitely didn't do it myself, yeah, but, yeah? Back in the day, when man was on the wrong part. So, man know what certain, and, and crack, if you've ever smelled crack before, like, if you ever got a whiff of crack and someone told you, you know, this particular smell is crack, yeah? When you smell it again, yeah, you will always remember that smell, yeah. Crack has like a, like the boy said, oh, it smells plasticky, innit? I don't know, maybe you can call it a plasticky smell, whatever. I've, I've smelled burnt plastic before, innit? Yeah, just, you know, I'm an electrician, I've worked here and there, whatever, innit? I've smelled burnt plastic. Crack to me has more of like a chemical type of smell. The kind of smell that you would smell in like a, a science lab something that you'd be cooking up, you know, in a Bunsen burner, innit? You know, like in school, you had little Bunsen burner things, whatever, innit, yeah? That's what crack smells like to me, right? It, it's got a chemically smell. So as soon as I bust the door, yeah, to the flat, the complex entrance, the block entrance, as soon as I bust the block door, yeah, I remember that smell. I know somewhere, yeah, people are getting high off the wrong substance, yeah? I know, I know, I know people are, are smoking crap. So I would have done up the property to a nice standard, yeah? Like me, I believe like to get that wild factor out of a property, you surely don't have to use white, obviously, but me, it might just be down to preference as well. I like white, I like bright colors and stuff, innit? Yeah, when it comes to property and that, innit, yeah? So other people, they like dark colors. And like in my mum's house, my mum's done up the living room, it's, it's dark grey and it looks nice, yeah? But me, I prefer brighter colours and stuff, innit? Yeah? So for me, to get that wow factor out of a property, I feel like if you have nice white tiles on the floor, white walls that are clean, because obviously it's been freshly painted, and nice lights, yeah, maybe spotlights, or maybe just like, I don't know if you guys can see, maybe like that light I got, yeah? Nothing special or whatever, innit? Yeah, but just nice little, so that's actually called a spotlight. Or down lights, you know the lights where you, you cut a hole in the ceiling, yeah, the sunken in lights, yeah. So you got nice white tiles on the floor, white walls, white white ceiling, obviously, with nice recessed down lights or a spotlight, like I just showed you in my kitchen now. Yeah, nice white kitchen, maybe black work surface, whatever in it, yeah. You give that house that nice bright feel, then I believe it'll give you that wow factor. Some people they don't like white, they're all night. Like, can't keep the house clean or whatever, innit? Yeah. Well, yeah, they probably have a tough time keeping the house clean. Me, I clean for fun. So for me, it's not a chore to have to clean and mop the floor every couple of days, or whatever, innit? Plus, I don't wear trainers in the house. I don't believe in wearing trainers in the house. So. But um, yeah, even if I done up the property to a nice standard and it was looking, yeah, that 
from the moment you bust through that block door to the property, I don't know, man. I think people could lose interest. I mean, if I took, obviously, when you advertise a property, they take pictures of the property inside. Yeah. They take pictures of the property inside and obviously they put them on Zoopla or Rightmove or whatever, innit? Yeah. They don't take pictures of the block. They don't take pictures of the block entrance, I mean, yeah. And I feel like if someone turned up to a viewing for that property, once they bust through the block door, because if the outside of the block looks rough or whatever, that's one thing, but if the inside of the block, the hallway is all dark and dingy, you can smell people smoking drugs. Once they bust through the block door, they're like, oh, do I even want to go and see the property? But then as soon as they bust through the flat door of the actual apartment, they're like, wow, yeah, because of the contrast, yeah. But then when they leave, they're like, oh, I don't even want to touch nothing yeah after i touch that door i'm gonna use hand sanitizer kind of thing so the only way around that is yeah rent it out so obviously when i start planning ahead in it i was like okay renovate the property will i be able to sell it straight away i don't know yeah but i know i'll definitely be able to rent it so maybe i'll just rent that property out forever yeah if i rent it that property out forever what i'll do is i would notify bedford council and tell them, look, I've got this property. I need you guys to manage it for me. It's called PSL, P Public Sector, sorry, Private Sector Landlord. I used to work for Harringay Council, so I know about this stuff. Private Sector Landlord is you, me, or Jack down the road. If either of us have a property, yeah, right now, my property here right now, if I wanted to give it to the council and let the council get some council tenants in, I could say, yep, yeah, Northampton Council, I've got this property, yeah. I need you guys to manage it for me and find me tenants, yeah. They will they will find tenants or whatever in it, yeah, and they'll pretty much manage the property for you, in it, yeah. And I'll just go and leave it on mom's house or whatever in it, yeah. But just giving you a, an example of private sector landlord, yeah. So private sector landlord is a landlord that owns a property, but he gives it to the council for the council to manage, yeah. And yeah, I kind of I came across a lot of them when I used to work for Harringay Council back in the day. So, yeah.